YouTube and welcome back to my channel today. I know I just recently filmed and uploaded my Project 10 Pan Round 1 first update for you guys and I did completely use up five entire products so I wanted to introduce five more products so that way my next update wouldn't be so short and not as entertaining for you guys to watch. So without further ado I'm just going to jump right in. The first product I'm going to be using is my NARS A Sheer Matte Foundation in the shade Medium for Barcelona and as you can tell there is quite a substantial amount of product left. I really enjoy wearing this foundation. It is a bit too dark for me, so I've been mixing it with my MAC foundation. This is the Studio Waterweight in the shade NC20, and together they match my complexion perfectly. I love the fact that this is a little bit more sheer and this is a little bit more coverage. Plus, this gives you a natural finish while this gives you a demi-matte finish. So together, it's what I'm wearing on my face right now, and I really like the formulation of both of these foundations. I wear foundation pretty much five to six days a week, so it normally takes me I don't, probably two months when I'm just using a straight foundation on its own, but mixing them, it will probably take me a bit longer to use this up. But I absolutely love this, and I'm really sad that it's been discontinued, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy it while I still can. The next product is a press powder, and this is by Physicians Formula. It is the Youthful Wear Powder in the shade beige illuminating finish and it looks like this. I've only been wearing this probably for the last week or so and I love the way this sets my foundation. From the name of the title it does give a slight illuminating finish without making my skin oily or greasy by any means. It's just a really natural skin like finish and it works really well with the foundation choices I've been wearing lately so I highly recommend checking out Physicians Formula products. They are cruelty free and I know their price point is a little bit more expensive at the drugstore, but you're definitely getting better quality, I feel. I mean, I feel like Physicians Formula is just as good as some of the higher end brands out there. My third product is by Physicians Formula as well, and it is their bronze booster in the shade medium to dark, and it looks like this. So what it is, is a bronzer, but it has four separate quadrants, and they originally have the names of the seasons on them, but what I normally do is just blend them all together. And let me grab the brush I normally use. It is the Chanel Number no. 2 Powder Contour Brush. It is perfect for swirling all of these together and then just lightly bronzing up your face to give me that summertime glow. So I have been really enjoying this product. It's one of my favorite bronzers and I've only been using it probably for like a week and a half or possibly two weeks ever since I ran out of my NARS Laguna bronzer and I really just like the fact that this one's a little bit more shimmery so it gives me more of a sun-kissed glow versus the NARS one which sometimes I use to contour so two completely different products but I still love the results that both of them give. The fourth product is a setting spray and it is by MAC. This is Fix Plus and I love this product. It's my favorite setting spray or finishing spray for that matter. I normally use it when I'm before I even start my skincare and makeup routine just to refresh my skin and make it nice and moisturized and then once I'm done I will just spray it on and it will just take down the powderiness of any of my powder products plus it just makes my skin a little bit more smooth and skin like. It does not necessarily prolong your makeup but what it does is it finishes your makeup look so I really like this and I just re recently purchased it so I have tons of it left and then the last product is an eyeliner and I was trying to decide whether or not I would include this just because I felt like it might be cheating this is a like small deluxe size sample of the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and it is the highliner gel crayon I absolutely love this eyeliner I have been wearing it in my waterline. It, it actually stays. I've never found an eyeliner that stays in my waterline. So I'm super thrilled about that. But the reason why I was a bit hesitant to include it is because, let me twist it all the way up for you guys. That is all I have left. So it's not gonna take me very long. There wasn't a lot of product to begin with just because it was a deluxe size sample. I believe this was a 100 point perk through Sephora that I picked up recently, but 
that's what I'm wearing on my waterline and my lower lash line. Also, I line my upper lash line with it and it does such a good job of staying put. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't smudge, it stays all day. And you can even smoke it out on your lower lash line so it's not as harsh. So I absolutely love this eyeliner and I, I'm pretty positive this is the first product that I'm going to use up out of all of my products that I just showed you today. So, um, that is it. This is probably the shortest video that I've ever filmed for you guys, but I just wanted to show you some new products so that way you wouldn't get too bored with my five remaining products from my original Project 10 pan. And now I have to get ready to take the dogs out because I do have to head off to work very, very shortly. So it was nice chatting with you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.